Welcome to Emily's Fresh Kitchen. Hello. Hello. Are you going to leave your shoes on? Yeah. Okay. Uh, today, we're making creamy dill chicken. It's a big dill. <laughs> Ask me. Ask me how excited I am about it. Not very, because dill means pickle. And I don't love pickles, but that's okay. It doesn't have pickles. It just has dill, which tastes like pickles. It's okay. Here's <clears throat> what we're working with. Green beans. And of course, we have the stock of some chicken. Concentrated. This is some fancy mustard. It is of the variety of Dijon. It all, came all the way from Dijon, France. And sour cream, wow. All the way from sour cream, Italy. And dill, wow. All the way from Dillon, Georgia. And potatoes, and I know what you're thinking, those must be from Idaho. No, they're from Ireland. Ireland potatoes. Wouldn't, wouldn't they be from like uh, the Yukon? Is there Yukon gold potatoes? No, these are a special variety from Ireland. They're, S stop it. You, you stop, what does it say? Yeah, they're Yukon gold potatoes from Ireland. Yukon gold from Ireland. Hey, Kendra, I'm going to fire you from my show, but I still need you to cook, so I'm just going to revoke your privileges to speak. Just kidding. Say what you want, my love. You have rights, I guess. And we have a little tiny baby potato. Do, do, do. Hey, Michaela. It's a baby potato. A little wee baby. Okay. It's a wee baby. It's so cute. And why is it cute? Because it's little. Because it's little. Yeah. This is the baby potato and it has some siblings. Oh, I just had an urge. I'm going to put these in order from smallest to biggest. Don't worry. Be nice to producer Patrick, lol. Well, Kendra, I think he needs to be nice to me, okay? Because he's trying to tell me I'm wrong. And I'm not. I'm not allowed to be wrong. This is my show. That he works really hard on. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm just putting them in order of cutest to still cute, but bigger and so therefore less cute, I suppose. I just jam jammed my finger in between the cutting board and the island and it hurt real bad, but I didn't drop the potatoes. So I'm really proud of myself for that. Producer Patrick has uh, put the green beans on a baking sheet. Oh, what should we turn this on to? 450. Producer Patrick has put the green beans onto a baking sheet and he has oiled them and will now salt and pepper them. Please don't over pepper those. All the pepper. No, because I the- even, I don't even think any of the pepper is the green beans. I think it's all on the Every green time green. we trust producer Patrick with pepper, producer Patrick over peps. There's too much pep in his step. There's not enough pep in my step. There's literally not enough pep in your step, but there's too much pepper in your stepper. That's not a word. That's, that's not, okay, no, shh, it's all right. I'm sorry, am I wedging? No, we're cubing. We're cubing. We're dicing. We are not wedging the potatoes. There will be no wedgies. A 
rather than the ones we accidentally get from our own undergarments that decide to wedge us. Stop talking about wedgies. Don't mind me or anything I say. Our teleprompter is broken and I'm on my own. Fun fact, our teleprompter has always been broken because we cannot afford one. And that seems like more work for me to have to read while I cut. And also, I do what I want. So, <laughs> teleprompter. You put all the words on the teleprompter? Exactly, that's more work for me. I have to put the words on there, plan out what I'm gonna say in advance, I can't be, I can't be future funny. I don't even know if I'm present funny. You know, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just trying to have dinner. TBH. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all the, the God's honest truth. Even if that camera wasn't there, uh, this if, if, even if it was just me and producer Patrick cooking, it would be the exact same thing. So I turned the camera on one day, and there you go. Isn't that right, producer Patrick? More or less. The only difference is that sometimes there's extra things to say because you wonderful people add to the conversation. And then sometimes y'all are really quiet, and I'm like, is anyone out there? Because it's getting harder and harder to breathe. I'm just kidding. I'm fine. I can breathe. I have asthma, but I'm okay. It's not contagious. I'm just bad at breathing. And getting us demonetized. Huh? And getting us demonetized. And getting us demonetized. Which is okay because we we're not monetized. <laughs> no one's paying me. If you would like to pay me, my Venmo is at Emily D, and I accept payments. If you like this show, please feel free to donate a dollar. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. I, I put my Venmo out there, but I honestly think that if someone ever sent me any money, I would feel really bad and be like, how do I give you a refund? Because I, I was just joking. But that's also how people get scammed. So if I didn't know the person, I'd be like, you're going to have to go through Venmo to get your money back because I don't trust you. But if you want to send me money, <laughs> my Venmo is at Emily D. E M M L E E D E E. At Emily D. Fun fact, also on Twitter and Instagram, and I don't really tweet, and I don't really gram, but pretty much every place, also TikTok. There's a video of my dog on TikTok. She's just laying down, and there's a song playing, and it's like, I had a lot of things to do today, but you know what I did instead? I took a nap. It was a very good nap. But she was laying in the cutest way, and so I just put it to music. And it was very fitting, because it was about naps. <clears throat> so also, I'm on TikTok, at M. Lee D. E M M L E E D E E, which is also the same as my Venmo. And my Instagram. And the last time I posted on Instagram was. It's been a while. Sometimes I. Sometimes I feel like I have a picture and I'm like, oh, I should put this on the gram. Producer Patrick, that's short for Instagram, not Grandma. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't put anything to Grandma. Don't, don't, mm-mm. 
producer Patrick is not hip with the lingo because he doesn't have a gram because I never made him one. He does have a Twitter because I made him one. Uh, and he has not used it since about a month, probably a month after I made it for him. And when he did use it, it's probably because I think I forced him a little bit. And I'm like, hey, what did you tweet today? Nothing. I know. Go tweet something, you know. And so it wasn't exciting for anyone, really. But, but I tried. I really tried. Producer Patrick is just, he's just not social in any way, shape, or form. In fact, he talks more on, on these videos here than, uh, I'm, I'm very surprised. He talks more than I thought he would because he's a shy guy. Mm -hmm. And, but you can't see him and so that's why he's okay talking. And that, then there was the occasional time when he's like, gives a teaser of like, hey, here I am. Uh, but he doesn't say anything in those moments because he can see himself talk and he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't like to see himself talk. He doesn't believe in himself like I believe in him. He knows he can talk because he hears himself, but he never has watched himself talk and he doesn't want to. I had a video interview once. That was the hardest thing I think I've ever done in my life. Do you hear that? He didn't see himself and that's why he's okay. When was that? Uh, that was whenever I got the, the position I'm in now. Oh, scary. Yeah, I had to do a vin video interview within the company for another a vin A vin interview? Yeah. See, he minces words because he's so nervous because the, the attention is on him. And me, I don't like talking in front of a bunch of people, but I can't see any of you. And so as far as I know, nobody's there. I don't look at the number in the top corner because I don't want to. Because I don't need to know. I'm on a need to know basis and I don't need to know. Uh, I'm finished with the purchasers. Purchasers. Oh, these are not going to be mashed? I thought that's why I was dicing them. Oh. Well, alrighty then. Throw them on a pen. Okay. I'm gonna dill with this dill. I just stuck my nose right on it. I'm not surprised. Pick and finely chop fronds from dill. When you're this is like a Christmas tree. I choose you, Pikachu. Just kidding. I don't. I hate it when you got. They're like, pick it off. I don't feel like it. I don't do like it. <laughs> I mean, I got time though because <laughs> I have time as far as my watch goes. I don't have time here because this is dill, but uh, <clears throat> it's not a big deal. I have time to do this though because, 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 because. Be says. Uh, huh? Be says. Be says. Oh, that reminded me of Malachi, one of my former students. He said, Be says. Pre K. Oh, I love it. Okay, anyways. Be says. Um, I don't have much else to do, so I'm going to be making a sauce, which just you hold your horses for that. Actually, I think I'm making the sauce. What? I don't get to mix anything? No, the sauce is made on the stove. Oh! Okay. What are you guys having for dinner? You guys. Oh, perfect. 20 to 25 minutes. I almost said the oven's name. Actually, I would say put it in there for 12 minutes, and then that way, set it set the timer for 12 minutes. That way we know what to put those in. Uh, the top? Top right. Okay, yeah, because potatoes, 
I would put in the top anyways, even though I just asked you for no good reason. Twelve, you say? Twelve minutes. <clears throat> and then, then we'll put in the green beans. It was a very good nap. That email, I took a nap. I'm not for sure what I'm having yet for dinner. Oh, okay. Well, you have time to decide. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Kendra, are you enjoying your HelloFresh meals? your lunch plans. I took a nap. Wow, that would be great if I could have taken a nap at lunch today. Well... I mean, I probably could. There's nobody safe. Producer Patrick used to take naps on his lunch break because he had an office. But now he switched jobs, and so now he has a cube. Um, uh, because instead of working at a smaller uh, location where they had space for them to have their own offices. He now works at a bigger building where they don't have the space for everyone to have their own office, so he has a cube. Um, and so, <laughs> so when he was cleaning out his office in his old place, one day he literally walked out of the building carrying a pillow. And I was like, uh, where did that come from? He's like, my office? And I was like, you had a pillow in your office? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, for, for what? He said, because sometimes I took a nap on my lunch break. I'm like, oh, all right. Well, hey. I mean, when, when you get an hour for lunch, uh, you know, sure. Why not take a nap? God bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. Why not take a nap? You know, why not? All right. My, my hands smell like dill. It's fine, it's not a big dill, it's fine. It's a little dill. My hands smell like a little dill. <laughs> Don't worry friends, my dill jokes are not going anywhere. Unfortunately. Except for they might be going in the other room with me so that I can cry a little bit. <laughs> Rude. You love my jokes and you know it. I do love your jokes. Okay then, you well, settle down. And I like dad jokes. Um, I'm over here giving the dad jokes and you're telling me to hush it up without saying those exact words. I'm going to call your mom and tell her you're being mean. Why don't you just tell her... Saturday. Well, if I tell her Saturday, she won't get the full effect of my tears. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, I'm going to tell her right now. Okay. Sally! Sally Ann Pickles! Her last name is not Pickles because she's married, um, but her maiden name is Pickles, and so I think that's even more fitting for the occasion because... We're talking about dill and how you're making a big dill out of my jokes and you calling me not funny. And that's what you said. I heard it. I heard it. Do you want to know why I think it's great that my mother-in-law's name is Sally Pickles? I mean, before she got married. Because have you ever seen the Rugrats? Angelica's mom, her name is Sally, and their last name is Pickles. Wait, is it Angelica's mom or Tommy and Dill's mom? I think Angelica's mom's name is Sally. Uh, is it Tommy and Angelica siblings? Tommy and Angelica are cousins. Tommy and Dill are siblings, which is even funnier because Dill Pickle. And also, Patrick has an uncle named Tommy Pickles. 
We don't talk about him. Were there Rugrats based on your life? Not my life. I mean, there's, there's no... Is your real name Dill? Anyways. Your parents' life, maybe? No. Not your parents, your mom. Anyways, so, hold on, I need to know. Alexa, what is Angelica's mom's name on the Rugrats? She did not answer the question that I wanted her to. She don't know. Hey Siri. On the Rugrats, what is Angelica's mom's name? Here matches for the Rugrats. Rugrats. The Rugrats movie. Rugrats in Paris. The movie. Oh my god. Stop Tales talking. Stop talking. I know her last name. I want to know her mom's name. I know her last name is Pickles because she's Tommy's cousin. Their dads are brothers. It might be Susie, actually. No. Susie was their friend. Charlotte. Charlotte. Okay. Was there a Sally Pickles? What is Tommy's mom's name? Hey, Paula. We're having a very serious discussion about the Rugrats. Dee Dee. Dee Dee. Was, wasn't there a Sally? Okay, well, it doesn't matter because Patrick's uncle's name is Tommy Pickles. And that's all you need to know. There's a security guard called Sally Simpson. Yeah, well, I thought there was a Sally Pickles. Now I'm sad. And her, her mom's name... Patrick's mom, uh, her, her, her mom, Patrick's grandmother, her name is Gertrude, which I just think is cute, because her name is Gertrude Pickles. And there's no pickle called Gertrude, but there is a pickle called a gherkin. We don't call her gherkin pickles, though. That's rude. Okay, well, our dill has been contained. Contain yourself. Because it's dillular. Uh, but anyways, so we have... Do you want to have for me? Oh, sure. And I'll need two tablespoons of butter. Two tablespoons of butter. I'm on it, sir. I know the fridge so well that I didn't even have to look. I knew what I was doing. I just watched myself on screen. I will have to look to cut because that's not safe to not look. You said two tablespoons? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I need to get out another butter. No Sally. No, I'm sad. I've been living a lie. I mean, I guess I haven't been living a lie, but I feel like it. I feel like I've been lied to. Why is the fridge door wet? Did you open it when you, after you washed your hands? Before you dried your hands? That was a nasty face. Don't make that face again. Sorry. You see, that's the downside of seeing myself in the camera. I see the faces that I make. No, I didn't. No, I didn't take the paper off. 
That was a mean trick. No! He's smiling while trying to take the butter away. Because he knows I like to take the paper out. But we're not ready for it, sir. Producer Patrick, he's just being an instigator today. Excuse me, I need some butter. Don't trip over that, okay? I'm just getting some butter. Now, oh, sorry. And I'll put it right back. Okay, here we go. No problem, you just got to go on a little ride. How fun is that? Wow. Smells real good. Smells real good. Probably because I can't smell the dill. What do you have in the pan? Chicken. Oh, just chicken? Mm -hmm. Oh. The just chicken smells real good. Used by July 15th, used by July 15th, used by July 15th, used by July 15th. Okay, well, oh. Our box will be here Tuesday. <gasps> what did you get? We had one of these in the fridge that said used by May 23rd. So we're gonna use this one and the other ones, the other three. I put one away for later. I don't know why we had an extra sour cream. Yes, I do. One time they sent us an extra sour cream or something. Paula, what did you get in your box? And how many meals did you get? Thirteen hours. Three meals and a surf and turf, but I would have to get off to tell you. Don't get off. No, don't do that. Um, the surf and turf, that sounds good. Um, I've seen that ooh. I've seen that one before. And these are cool. Yes, and once the chickens have cooled down, once those hens ain't hot. Uh, we're going to uh, cut them somehow. I'm going to wait a few minutes before I start cooking the sauce. Producer Patrick is going to wait a few minutes before he starts cooking the sauce. Probably, I'm sure you heard him say that. Probably because we're ahead of schedule. Probably, if I had to guess. Are we ahead of schedule? Mm -hmm. We're ahead of schedule, friends. Well, this is an easy meal then, huh? Mm -hmm. How long did it say it takes to cook? 10 and 30. Oh. I like how the prep time this on this was be... 10 minutes and it only had potatoes and the dill. But other, other meals have like tomatoes. 10 minutes and it's like 12 things you have to cut. Like tomatoes, onion. Did you have to dice the, dice everything? I garlic. Don's Don's on his way home. Hey, but it's Thursday. He's coming home tonight? <gasps> That's exciting. Would I maybe be able to see him tomorrow? Because Saturday I'll be out of town. Don't mind me being nasty and licking my fingers. I don't have a paper towel. That's okay. I don't need one. I probably will because I'm going to have to touch that chicken. <gasps> I had sour cream on my beautiful apron. Thank you. Yep, and leaves Monday. Oh, what? 
Wait, is he going back to once every three weeks? Then I could see him on Sunday if I can't see him tomorrow. Um, friends, I'm not going to be cooking tomorrow. I know what you're thinking, but what? It's Friday. Hey, calm down. The oven got upset. Uh, but it's because I'm going to be very busy tomorrow because I have a date and it's not with producer Patrick. Did, did you hear that producer Patrick? Yeah. I'm going on a date with someone else. Okay. But don't worry friends. It's just my friend. I have not seen her in so long and I'm so excited because I'm going to see her again and I have not seen her in over one whole year because we used to go out every single Friday after work because we worked together and we saw each other every single day and we had so much fun. And then on Fridays, we would go to Starbucks after work and then we would go to dinner and then we would just get ourselves in trouble, only not legal trouble, just actually there was no trouble at all. We just drove around and talked. <laughs> but, um, well, I have not been able to do that in quite some time so I missed her and um so I'm gonna see her tomorrow and we're gonna probably go to Starbucks and then go to dinner and get ourselves in trouble but not legal because I'm already in enough of that I'm already in enough legal trouble friends I can't talk about it there's an ongoing investigation I've already said too much producer Patrick I'm gonna they're don't gonna don't hurt. They're gonna find out. I said too much already. It's okay, we're in Canada, they'll never find me. I'm in Canada, you'll never find me. See, no one has even commented that I'm moving. No one has said, where are you going? Because clearly they don't even know. They don't even notice, they still see me. I'm still here. It's going to be a boring part of the stream. I need you to cut the chicken too. What do you mean legal trouble? Tell me all about it and I would have said, okay, I will. Oh, but I forgot there's an ongoing investigation and I cannot. I don't even think anyone noticed I was even gone. Did anyone notice I was gone? Did you notice? Hi, Jennifer, you missed it. I just escaped the law to Canada. I fled. I fled to Canada, eh? I need the sour cream. Yeah, you can have all of that. <clears throat> Here you go. No, I need you to take the whole board, please. Oh, you did notice. Okay, good, because 
I was starting to think that y'all only watched for the food. Which I don't know why because there's no food in front of me except for butter, which you can't see because I just moved it off the screen. Well, you probably go ahead and peel that food very soon. Peel the butter, he says. Oh, this is juicy chicken. This is juicy, Lucy. Just kidding. That's a type of burger. I'm going to need also need the juices off the board whenever you're done. The juices off the board? Mm -hmm. How does that even work? You just let it drip into the sauce. Okay, weird. That's what they said. Okay, weird. Okay, weird. <gasps> I dropped a piece of wrapper. Are you ready for this butter? Nope. I don't think you're ready for this butter. He said he's not, so chances are no is the answer. And I know that no is the answer because he said. La, 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 la. Yeah, but anyways, friends, tomorrow I won't, we won't be cooking. I don't even know what I'm having for dinner tomorrow, but I'm excited to find out. It's going to be so exciting to find out for me. Me too. Yeah, because producer Patrick doesn't even know what he's having. And he said, am I on my own? And I said, no. You have to feed the elder unpaid intern. Hey, Jackie. <gasps> I miss you. And I need you to comment something so I know that you love me still. I'm just kidding. I know you love me. But I miss you. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to chop the chops. We're going to chop the chicken. Chop, chop the chop, chop chicken. Producer Patrick has mixed in a pan a uh, stock chicken stock concentrate and water. Hi! Okay. And water. And <clears throat> uh, he's brought that to a simmer over medium high heat. And also, he reduced that heat and then he whisked in the sour cream. And, <clears throat> and half of the chopped dill. It's a big dill. Uh, it's half, half a big, it's half a dill. Half a big dill. And mustard, and to taste, and should probably just put it all in there. Oh, I already did, I didn't know. He put it all in there, that's fine. And then he's gonna stir in two tablespoons of butter, and any resting juices from the chicken. Wow, now, I have not chopped the chopped chicken yet. Uh, tries to set, okay, well, so. Here, can I have the butter? Uh, okay. Yeah, take the butter. Take the butter. I unwrapped it just for you. Okay. Uh, how am I chopping the chicken? Like little strippy things, kind of. Strippy things. Thank you. Oh! What was that noise that you made there? That was interesting, friend. Oh, God. Sorry. Oh, the oh. Cops found us. Thank you for the heart. Huh? I said, oh no, the cops found us. Oh, oh no. That was loud. I drew, I drew attention to myself and my legal issues that I'm in. I'm in legal trouble, friends. I can't talk about it. <laughs> don't worry. I don't need an attorney. I'm going to represent myself. That'll go well. And if anyone is in legal trouble and you need a representative, you just let me know. I will be more than happy to represent you. But only if the court is the food court. <laughs> Unfortunately, my legal troubles have nothing to do with the food court. <laughs> Producer Patrick, it involves you as well. 
because it's my problem and I'm making it yours. It's what I do. Okay. But so you already knew worried. that. He's making his worried face, and you can't see it because he's a shy guy, but he's really just looking at the recipe. He's not worried about my legal woes. I guess dinner just rest. I don't know. Could you text mom? Did you text her about your drink? No. Are you going to? No. Are you serious? Yeah. So you're going to let me text her about a drink, but you won't do it? No. You mean yes, you were gonna let me, but you won't do it. No, I wasn't gonna let you. You said. Someone text the elder unpaid intern and tell her that dinner's ready and also Patrick would like a Dr. Pepper before she comes home. Please, thanks. Okay, bye. Not bye, stay. You don't have to make the sound, the oven does it itself. I know, but I was letting you know ahead of time. I know, because you pointed to it ahead of time. Just give me a second. I'm on the bus, but I'm not driving the bus. I will get off the bus. The struggle bus. Well, I mean, it's not just us for dinner, but she could just deal with it when she gets home, make herself, whatever. Potatoes first? No, green beans first. Whichever. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got problems. I got them too. You got a friend in me. Oh, wait, that's not the words. <laughs> the friend of me? Get it? No, all right. Shh, settle down. We don't have time for frenemies, people. Only time for friends. You got problems. I got them too. You got a friend in me. Um, Jackie, you and your mom come on over for dinner. I don't know where the elder unpaid intern is, but she's not here. And also we have two more servings. Sir, is this all the way cooked? I think it is, but I'm just asking because I want to be sure. On this side right there? Mm -hmm. Okay. You got problems. I got them too. It's just squishy. That's what I was wondering. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for you. You got a friend in me. Yeah, you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. I do need another plate though to put the extra chickens on, please, sir. Yeah, or something. I'm gonna need the cutting board. Yeah, you need the cutting board. I've been snacking on this chicken, it's pretty good. The little pieces that come off, I just snack upon those. You did good, sir. You got problems. Well, I got them too. Don't worry, friends. I know you came for a dinner and a show. So I'm giving you this concert. And guess what? It's free. No tickets required. But if you would like to buy a ticket to this free show, you can send money on to me on Venmo. <laughs> Don't do that. But if you want to, it's at M L E D E M M L E E D E E. But please don't do that. You are People are probably like, why do you say don't do that? And then, but give your information. 
It's because what if there's someone out there who could could be my long lost cousin from Africa and he's a prince and he says, you have inherited some fortune from your family and I would like to send you money and then I would say, oh, my Venmo is, you saw it, it's right here on, on the page. And so then he can send me my rightful money from my long lost cousin in Africa who's a prince. Is it, is it from Africa? That's where my long lost cousin probably is? Probably. Is that where we get the emails from sometimes about my long lost cousin? Who's a prince. And so whenever he comes to watch my show, you know, he'll say, oh, I just need to go to Venmo and that's where I, he's probably gonna deposit it there and, and and then I, I have to go put it in my bank account or something, something like that, you know. Uh, and so whenever that day comes, I want him to know uh, how to access my Venmo uh, so that we can, you know, make that work from my cousin who's a long lost, my long lost cousin who's a prince. I'm excited, you know. I, I love meeting new family members. So that'll be the best day ever when, when that comes through for me, you know. I hear that a lot of people have a long lost relative who's a prince somewhere. And his name's probably like Michael or something, I don't know. Probably, you know, because he uses a, a very uh, regular Americanized name. Uh, so that he doesn't seem so so uh, peculiar to me, you know. He wants he wants me to feel comfortable. So instead of calling him like Prince, some name I may not be able to pronounce, he says, "But you can call me Michael." And I'm like, "All right, I can get behind that." You know, I appreciate that, Michael, cousin Michael. So I'm really excited for the possibilities that are to come with Cousin Michael because, you know, he's, he, he, he wants to get to know me uh, by first sending me money, I'm sure, I'm sure. And that's why I put my Venmo out there, you know, for Cousin Michael or whatever his name that he prefers is, you know. Whatever. Venmo. Venmo. Anyways. Producer Patrick, can I hand you this please to put on the somewhere so I can get it out of the way? It's hot. Don't touch it. I had to push my glasses up. They were falling down my face. As they quite often do. Has any has anybody else uh, have a long lost cousin that wants to give you some money somewhere, or maybe an uncle, who's who's probably a prince. Uh, you know. That would, please share your story. I would love to hear about it. And did they find you on Venmo? Uh, did they send you a personalized email? And probably spell your name a little bit wrong, but close enough. I wanna know, these are. Do they offer free toasters? Oh yes, we, we well, I'm gonna wanna, well that's if it, it's, that. that's if you go through a certain bank. Certain banks will offer you free toasters, but I don't. I don't think your long lost relative, who could, who's a prince, will offer you a free toaster. <clears throat> but they might if they're a prince, you know. And you're like, how do I know you're really a prince? Send me a toaster, and they're like, oh, okay, well if that's all it takes, probably they won't do that, you know. And also because I don't know where you are personally, but I think that. You know, I hear an ice cream truck. 
it doesn't matter. We're we're not partaking. But probably um, the the chances are that um, the plugs where he is are not the same. So then I would have to be like, oh, I need a converter. You know, this is our creamy dill sauce. Do you hear the ice cream truck? I see the ice cream truck. Do you know what I just realized? I'm over here smothering my chicken like this is the best sauce in the world. And it has dill in it and I never tried it. And I don't <laughs> like pickles. And It's good, but I will say maybe don't just have a spoonful of it <laughs> because <clears throat> the the pickle taste mixed with the mustard is a little, um, it's a little strong. That's okay though because it's not gross and I'm going to eat it. What do we do with the rest of the pickle? With no problem. It sprinkles on top. I'm going to eat it with no problem. No problema because... I am <clears throat> gonna enjoy it so very much. Is that enough for you? You want more? That's fine. He says that's fine. Okay, here you go. And then we're just gonna sprinkle some dill on the top because that's what it says to do. And even though I don't like pickles, I am not opposed to trying, oh, that was too much, oh, that was too much again, new foods, and I think I went a little bit overboard, but that's okay, because, <clears throat> why, why did I add more, okay, I'm like, it's not even in this, man, I just wanted it to have an even layer of dill, and so this was too much, and too much, and needed more, and so I just added, I don't know why I did that. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. It's going to be delicious. Okay, I'm going to show you my plate. Here's our grin bins. And our potatoes. And here's our creamy dill chicken. Which is just going to be So delicious. It's fine. I'm just gonna. No. No, thank you. I don't. I'm just. I'm just using my fingers like the hooligan that I am. I got a tasting spoon. There's sauce on there, okay, and and some dill. So for those of you naysayers who are like, you probably are not even trying anything with sauce. I am. Is it good? Oh, yeah. Mr. Patrick likes it. What are you cooking again? A creamy dill chicken with potatoes and green beans. Okay, well, here's my suggestion to you. Don't eat the sauce by itself if you don't like the pungency of pickles and mustard. However, on some chicken, that's good stuff. So, delicious. Okay. My friends, this I feel like this was a short one. Wow, we could have the duck a l'orange. Just kidding. We're going to have duck a l'orange. Probably Saturday. Definitely Saturday. We're out of town on Saturday. Hmm? We're out of town on Saturday. Sorry. I'm a liar. We're not cooking. I'm not lying. I just forgot. There's a difference. 
we're not cooking tomorrow because I have a date with my former work friend. I'm very excited. I miss her so much. <clears throat> Sorry. We're also not cooking Saturday because the elder and paid intern is going to be here with the mascot holding down the fort. Uh, but producer Patrick and I will be out of town visiting family. So we shan't be cooking, but maybe we can have a special video about what we're eating. Probably not. Anyways, um, I don't know. I just, I do what I want, so anything could happen. But if there is a video, food will be involved. Uh, but Sunday, Sunday we're going to make dinner. Sunday? Probably. Probably. Okay. And, and maybe Monday, but probably not Sunday and Monday, but definitely Tuesday. We're getting back on track. Uh, so I'll see you later and I love you and have a great weekend and I might see you Sunday, but if not Sunday, then for sure Monday and also for sure Tuesday. So woohoo Tuesday, woohoo's day. Uh, and I wish you well friends and Kendra knows drink your water yes it's funny because whenever y'all type a comment it takes it takes a minute for me to see it takes like 10 seconds ish for me to see it so I said Kendra knows and then drink your water popped up which is funny because of, like great minds Kendra drink your water friends drink it and swish it around in your mouth to wash out the dill chicken flavor just kidding. It's really good. I'm going to eat the rest of it and I'm going to enjoy it because it's delicious. Anyways, be kind to others. Be kind to yourself because you know what, my friend? Don't talk mean about yourself. You're always listening. Uh, and also, if you want to know, the potatoes are good. How do I know? Because they're potatoes. And the green beans are good. And how do I know? Because they're green beans. We've had those too. Oh, that one was good. You seasoned those perfectly. Okay. Shine your light for others, my friends. <clears throat> and if you see someone without a smile, give them one of yours. I gave him one of my smiles right as he was taking a bite. And so he gave one back. And I'm, I appreciate you hiding that chicken in your mouth when you smiled back at me. Appreciate that so much. You don't even know. Um, but if you would have shown me a chicken smile, it would have been even funnier to me. But no one else would have seen it. And that's okay. But we've been together for 10 years. And so I've seen food in your mouth before. It doesn't faze me at all. Not one iota of a bit. Anyways, uh, this is good. If you like dill, if you like paying a colot, no, no. If you like dill, try this. And if you don't, try it because I don't like pickles and this is good. And I'm going to try some on a potato. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good too. I might put some on my potatoes. Anyways, um, okay, I love you. Drink your water. I wish you well and have a great weekend. And you're the best. And I wish you all the happiness and love and success in the whole entire world. And if someone's mean to you. You tell them, hey, leave me alone. I'm a good person. Just like that. And you smile at him. You kill him with kindness. Emphasis on with kindness. Don't kill people. But let me tell you something, friends. If someone is being mean to you, do you know what will make them so mad? If you're nice to them. It's true. Try it. And then you'll feel good because you're like, wow, I was really nice to that person. And they had a horrible attitude about it. And you're just like, hmm, but I was nice. And your heart feels good. And then if they're mad, it's their problem. And no one's listening to me anymore. Okay, have a great weekend. I love you. I wish you well. Drink your water. Okay, bye.